Sarah Bovey that and who started 46? It was Ahmed Al Harty, the man who qualified that car. There was a touch there between the Lambo and the BMW. Big racing driver. <laughs> and it is cat and amongst the pigeons, and they are darting left, right, center through these through these GT3s. That was pretty audacious stuff. Is that going to give the Peugeot a chance? It is. Yes, it is. We'll have to go the long way around the outside the Peugeot. That's not really going to work, is it? Nico Muller giving it everything. These, these guys are trying to save their tyres. Apparently, it does look like the final 10 minutes of the He's got Formula it. Ford race. What a cracking move. Yeah, absolutely. Now down into turn one at the lead of the race. Whoa. Outright, I think Molina might just make this difficult for Muller on the outset. It gives him room though, yeah. and it's going to be the Peugeots towards wow. turn two. Well, that's exactly the move that Molina pulled on the front row of the grid to take the lead. Now they see the oh. move into turn six. Wow. 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 And Sunco, the number six car, the other Penske car, like, looking to dive through as well. So a bit of opportunism from Lawrence Van Tor, nearly dive bomb Michael Christensen. No worries then. They're different tyres, we keep going. You still have two cars behind you, keep going. I got overtaking around the outside, what the hell? Well, we still have six and a half hours to make up on it, so no worries, keep going. You're doing good, you're doing good. Yeah, you can get overtaken around the outside if you're on different tyres, there's so much performance in it. And now she's under attack on the inside. Yeah, the BMW going through. in the BMW as the Peugeot comes through. And the, the, the BMW jumped the Corvette because the Corvette had a look got held up and Galeo went right by both of them in, in a lap. And now the Corvette passed as well. Yeah. This might have been the, uh, the opportunity that Pierre Guidi was looking for. A bit of traffic has helped him out here and as they not... run up towards the fast corner of turn 12. He's trying to go around the outside and he makes it work. Brilliant stuff between these two. And oh, that was... Side. Whoa! A biff. That for the 78, one of the 78 Lexus. Lexus. I think there's damage to that Lexus as well. I think there's smoke from the rear. It was Ooh. smoke to the rear of that car. Oh, he did go right over the white line. He's going to have fair. to give that back. All yeah. right, he was forced off, you would say, by Collado. That's an interesting one. Mm. He did take the car right over. We see this quite often in Monza, don't we, on the main straight? It's it's the Peugeot! It's the Peugeot! But it's it the 94. Is. Yeah, it's, it's a 93. 93. It's a 93. The Peugeot is off the podium in one fell swoop. Calamine is second for Jota. No power, no power. No power. Unbelievable. Starting his final Stop. lap uh, now. Please go as far as you can. In the 10 hour season opener, victory for Porsche and Penske Racing. Second place is in the balance though. Jota in second, Penske in third, racing to the line. It will be a Porsche sweep of the podium. The ecstasy and the agony, because this too is sport.